right, so uh, this is sort of my unboxing of uh, a globe trotter. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to get right into kind of opening it up um, because, uh, and then I'll talk about everything else uh, that I have here with it and kind of like, you know, why I got it and stuff like that. I just know that like a lot of times, for me, I just want to like look at the product and like if, if the product's not on screen and the person's talking, like I don't really care. <laughs> I like to just stare at the product like endlessly and then, uh, you know, do that sort of thing. So, I don't know. Oh, okay. Whew, okay. Kind of nervous. Um, I don't know. This is a pretty big purchase. I'm not sure if you guys know. These things go for quite a bit. I got this on sale, uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute. I got it from Matches Fashion. Um, not sure if you're familiar with that, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, they usually come through and do a really good job um, with everything. Uh, it's brand new. Um, I mean, I don't know what their deal is. Maybe they get things that are like returned or something. That's how they get a better price, but um, you know, it, it's new equivalent. Um, so yeah, let's open this stuff up. Oh my God. Whoa, lots of bubble wrap. Oh boy, okay. This is insane. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the oh. hell is going on there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it bubble for me? Yeah. Okay, I yeah you can have the bubble wrap. This is my son. Um, so, Let's put the bubble wrap over here. Oh. I'm just going to throw it over there for right I'm, now. Can I join the video? Yeah, of course. So, yeah, we have a hundred bubbles oh. on the bubble wrap. <laughs> and that yeah. seems to be tight. Uh, bubble wrap, there's a lot here. Oh my god. I don't know if all the bubble wrap was necessary. Oh boy. It's also in its own packaging else Oh, okay. So, <laughs> oh boy. We shall see. We shall see how this goes. Um, okay, maybe I can close the box. I just kind of prop it. Big ass box, bro. Try and take it apart um, uh, here as well. I uh, just take off the wrapping and stuff. I wow, this is ins like this is insane. This is this is a proper suitcase. This is an absolute proper suitcase. Um, wow. So yeah, I mean, I guess start just start talking about kind of like what this is all about for me. Um, so it says, please note, returns will only be accepted if this tag remains attached. 
this is one of those moments where you just know you're keeping this, you know, you're, you're gonna keep this for a long time. So uh, let me move it over here so I can kinda, uh, there we go. It's one of those things you're gonna keep. <laughs> you just, you know, the second you touch it and feel it and see it, you just, you absolutely know you're keeping this. Oh my goodness, this is just absolutely insane. Okay, um, so, yeah, I don't know, I got this because um, I'm a huge James Bond fan. Um, and if you don't know, uh, they made a special order just for uh, this, uh, <clears throat> No Time to Die. Um, and it was in Spectre as well, uh, more of a brown case like this, but the, the other case was their original. It didn't have the straps. I personally wanted the straps because I just think it looks cooler uh, with the straps. Um, but. Um, I didn't like the James Bond one only because I love the color and everything. Um, I don't like that it has four wheels. I feel like that really detracts from like the way it looks. Um, that's just my opinion. Like it just makes it look less like a suitcase and more like uh, one of these things. Um, so I, and I really love, you know, I love the one in Spectre a lot. Um, so I kind of wanted something like that, but like I said, with the strap. So, this one, um, these things retail for like over two grand. Like I, this is like the their century, centenary or however you pronounce it, um, uh, line um, to celebrate like over a hundred years or whatever. Um, Cause they've been around since like 1897 or some shit. And uh, yeah, you know, they, they retail for about, you know, 2200 or something like this, but I got this on sale for $1,500 and through Matches Fashion. Um, and actually, because I used their app for the first time, I actually got it um, on sale 15% off that. So um, at the end of the day, I think it cost like $1,400, um, you know, close to $1,400. So essentially, I just didn't pay tax. <laughs> Uh, our seven percent tax here um, in in Florida, and uh, didn't um, and and got like a hundred bucks off of what they were saying. But if I had you know bought it through uh, um, what do you call it? If I had bought it through um, <clears throat> what's it called? Uh, actually, through Globe Trotter, I would have paid like what twenty two hundred plus tax, maybe 2,400, you know? So I say <laughs> probably close to a grand on um, this purchase. Um, and I don't know about you, but that's, that's pretty important to me, um, you know, to save uh, that kind of money. <laughs> so I think to open it, you, do you just, I literally, like, opening this, I'm, I'm never going to get it, guys. Like, I have no idea. This thing twists, these things twist, and then maybe when it opens, you just press down and press up. I'm really not sure. Uh, so, give me a second. I'm going to try and, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to attempt to try and figure out how to open this. Uh, highly doubt I'm going to be able to figure it out. Oh, that's it. You just like, um, turn it a certain way. <laughs> I don't understand how I just did that. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. This way is unlocked. This way is unlocked. Okay, this one just like flopped open and then now it's not doing that. So I'm really completely lost on this. Um, whoa. Okay, that one just opened too. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here's a trick. Oh. Okay, so there's like a lock and unlock. Um, Thing that it shows you on here, and then um, you just like come 
to the sides. Pretty awesome, actually. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, open this bad boy up. Ooh, that is freaking sweet. My God. Ooh, wow. And it comes with the uh, keys. Two keys. Uh, that's pretty cool. Wow. So yeah, I mean you can kind of see. It still has like a Globe Trotter card in it. Oh, it's like a like a care guide. Um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. Oh. Please use keyhole. Okay, well yeah, I'll keep this and I'll, I'll I'll use I'll read this. Uh, make sure I you know follow the instructions and whatnot. It comes with what looks like a little. Uh, you know, a little little saline thing. So kind of another thing, uh, reason I got this one instead of the, uh, the No Time to Die one is because like, uh, the other one, that one has like a lot of like 007 logoing on it. And I really, I'm not a huge fan of like logo, uh, stuff like that. Um, and I definitely could have gotten, um, the, uh, the original, their original in brown, um, for about the same price for like 1200, uh, then probably with tax and stuff, it would have been like 1400. But, um, that one, like I said, didn't, doesn't have, uh, these, uh, straps. So I, I just kind of, you know, preferred this obviously, um, you know, if you, you know, want a very specific color, then like going with something that's like on, um, uh, matches fashion uh, specifically won't you know won't necessarily or or you know is, is cheaper somewhere else won't necessarily be an option but for me brown is like perfect um i actually really love the um um sorry this is such a beautiful case um i actually really love the um the navy on navy one um and i almost got that one um uh, I was thinking about also like their cream safari one, but the reason I didn't get that is because it was used, the one I was looking at, and I, I ultimately decided I really don't want to get uh, something that's used with this. I really want this to be mine, and I want to create the scratches and, and, and the patina and, and everything. I just I want the whole history to be mine. Because like to me, this is a purchase of like on the level of uh, getting a, a, a luxury lock. Uh, thinking about watches maybe want to put my uh, Omega uh, Seamaster Planet Ocean on it, you know, this thing I bought for like four grand, um, you know, if I get one of these new, you know, you're looking at over, a little over half that, and, uh, you know, I could probably grab a Seamaster Professional uh, used, you know, an older one, like from Casino Royale or something for like three grand, so even at 1500 almost for this, I mean, that's like half of a new watch. I mean, that's a significant purchase. It's not, you know, it's not, but also I guess it reminds me of a watch because it's like something you're going to potentially use like for forever, for like generations, hopefully. I mean, I would, I would imagine that they make them that robust, um, that they could be passed on. Um, I love this detailing here. They have, which they have on their original Brown. It's like this lighter, uh, brown color. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I honestly wasn't sure if I was gonna like the coloring at all. I will say that I don't really dig this like purple. I didn't realize that was going to be purple. The stitching is purple. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be burgundy or whatever, but it's a little less, um, I don't know. Uh, I think it's supposed to be burgundy, but I feel like it's a little less, um, I don't want to say sophisticated, but you know, just like uh, reserved. Yeah, that's probably the best word. It's a little less reserved than I, I, I maybe typically would want. Um, so yeah, these are pretty cool. The straps just go right in there. Let me see if I can bring this closer to you guys. You guys can see more. Uh, so yeah, the keys are cool. Um, kind of, uh, you know, say Globetrotter on them. So that's pretty neat. Let's put those down and then uh, I'm just strapping this up just to see how it goes. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see the stitching. It's kind of like, it really looks purple to me. Maybe over time, like, it'll, like, sort of fade in, in, in being so, like, iridescently, um, burgundy. <laughs> but we shall see. Um, either way, um, you know. Oh, yeah, the leather strap right here. Turn that. Oh, boy. I don't know if I can get that one on a little edge. I think I got it. I got it. Um, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. But either way, I, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm okay with a pop of color. You know, I, I kind of did want to get this because I do like things a little bit. A little bit more out of the box, so, you know, the brown is cool, but then the burgundy accents, you know, liven it up a bit. Um, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't seen the back of one of these things, this is also the uh, re another reason I wanted to get this one instead of the newer ones, is that the newer ones actually put this thing inside the suitcase, so you kind of lose room inside the suitcase. And I just don't think that was a very good design. Um, quite like this design. It's probably goes higher than this. Um, but knowing me, I'm not going to be able to figure that out. There it is. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can kind of... Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you can, you know, roll this puppy around. Let me see if I can adjust here. You can see that a little bit better. There we go. So yeah, you can roll this around. It's got two wheels instead of four, like I said. So you can't do like the, you know, just sitting right here. You're gonna have to roll like this, um, which is pretty awesome. But what you can do, I know probably everyone knows this, but uh, to me, this is always like awesome. It's just putting, you know, another bag um, right here. And then you got, you know, you got just, you can carry something else. So the, the, my plan is why I brought a lot of this other luggage. Uh, this is pretty much like, I think this will get me through like just this duffel, which is the J Crew duffel from Spectre. Um, we'll, and, and, and then this, and then my little like tote bag for like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I usually just carry a tote bag around cause I have a kid and like, we always need extra water or extra whatever. Um, so I kind of always have it. Um, and then what I like about the J Crew though, is it kind of, you know, goes with it pretty well. Um, that's kind of why I wanted to get brown. Uh, ultimately I want to replace the J Crew with the, the Bennett and Winch, I think it's pronounced, called, um, um, their, uh, hold all that like, you know, uh, essentially like folds over, uh, so you can carry like a suit, uh, it has like a garment bag essentially that like wraps around. It's awesome. If you haven't checked it out, uh, it's from. Uh, no time to die. I'll probably get the leather one in brown to kind of match this, and I think that'll be like a pretty cool um, uh, setup. I think if you, you know, kind of look at it that way, like you know, just a brown and brown on brown, I think is a pretty cool thing. Um, so this is cool because you can just carry it like this, or you can carry it like this, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. I don't know. I like, I actually like it on the outside. It just gives it kind of, kind of more character and I like how the wheels are kind of like hidden. So it doesn't really disrupt the fact that it looks like a suitcase, you know? Whereas I feel like with the four wheels just protruding out because they all come out uh, in the other design, uh, I feel like that just, um, you know, really kind of destroys the lines. Um, yeah, and this thing's gorgeous. And of course you can uh, use it as uh, something to sit on, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so, um, uh, let me maybe, uh, take the, uh, camera off and there, kind of, uh, give you a tour, um, sort of up close and personal, if I just open these up again, uh, you know, I just kind of letting, letting you watch all of it just so you can see how it kind of. So yeah, now kind of the uh, up close and personal tour so we can get all the finer details. So I really like the, the um, um, I don't think it's nickel. I, th I think it's nickel, yeah. Um, I prefer the nickel to the bronze because the bronze is just very like, I don't know, it's more showy for me in my opinion. Um, and I think the, the nickel um, is really... Um, awesome. Oh, I just want to mention like 
this um, set here I have is like from Toomey and all of our brown and I feel like the I'll probably end up getting another Globetrotter um, in the Navy Navy so it's like Navy uh, case with the Navy straps um, and I think that would go perfect with that and it would be like perfect summer um, I could just you know go to summer and then this would be like my winter fall spring collection um i i, I really love um uh luggage <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go i'll talk about that in a second because we travel a lot um uh, uh so we're like constantly traveling so more i can't have too much luggage at this point uh so yeah i'm sure you guys have seen a lot of these details before but um, Globetrotter, the world's most famous suitcase since 1897. Um, it has a little thing here. Uh, it just says, uh, yeah. It really is a luxury luggage. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, like, um, that's another reason I brought this out here. To kind of, like, give a comparison of, like, side by side. So let me do, like, a quick, uh, side by side of uh the difference um between you know just the, like the generic um luggage that you know typically most people have that obviously we have um as well um you, you see what i'm saying like it's just this is like art and and this is like shit <laughs> i mean these things matter to me i i know like the 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 globe trotter like saying is like it's not you know it's not just about where you go it's it's like how you carry yourself and that's just huge for me uh you know maybe it's lame maybe it's fucking champagne problems or whatever uh but also like to me like who you're going with like those things honestly i could go anywhere in the world and if i didn't have like a way to like look the way that i want to look and like feel the way i want to feel and dress the way i want to dress and like if I'm not with the right people, like it's not gonna matter that as much to me. Uh, these things really enhance um, the experience. So obviously these are used to um, uh, strap um, your your luggage in, like your, your clothes and stuff. Um, so yeah, the internal is awesome. Like it's it's just, it's so classic. Like it reminds me of like, just i don't know man it's just it's just so classic that's another thing about this is this thing is like a suit you know it, it, it is like a like a nice watch you know what i mean it's it's like it's it, it's its own entity it's 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 it's, it's just beautiful <laughs> it really is just beautiful I, I i'm honestly more impressed with it than i thought like every time i look at like the interior um when, when i'd see them you know in um in images and videos and stuff and there's not enough videos of this so i'll definitely be making a, another video this is just really an unboxing uh, uh check out you know ch uh, i'm gonna use this um uh, a lot and uh then i'll kind of you know let you know what i like what i don't like um because they're just when you're going to buy one of these things there are not enough videos um uh, for for you uh, to, to, to make that decision um, whether or not uh, it's the right thing for you. Um, so I just, yeah, I could uh, once again just pair it with this. It just looks so nice together. Like, look at that. that that's just, that's just fucking class, man. That's just, you're just going to look fucking bomb as hell no matter what you're doing, man. It's just fucking awesome. Like, I just fucking love shit like that. <laughs> they really go well together, surprisingly. Uh, I think the Bennett and Winch will um, really go well too. So, so I definitely have another video coming. Uh, you know, it might be a few months because I want to really, you know, give give this thing some use. Um, but the so the thing is, I travel like constantly now. My wife works um, um, as a. Um, oh, you can see the little details here. Maybe. My wife works uh, as travel tech, like, um, in the medical field, and so um, we're in, like, a different place pretty much every three months or so, um, and everywhere we go, we get really bored um, quickly, so we end up going, like, on um, 
you know, uh, weekenders, like pretty much every once a month or more. Um, so this is perfect for a weekender, this, um, and, um, the duffel, I mean, that's, that's going to get the job done, um, for, you know, two or three days. Um, so I'll be using this a lot, uh, hopefully exploring, uh, you know, different places around. We're in St. Augustine right now. This is not my home, you know, I don't really have a home. Um, I just always kind of wanted to do this type of thing, this type of lifestyle. So to me, luggage is really important. Um, we, we live out of our luggage, like everything we own is in luggage and I want to be able to put stuff in, uh, good luggage. Um, this thing can, um, definitely take a suit. You know what I mean? Like you could easily put a suit in here more so, um, than in a duffel. Uh, because, you know, you can keep the suit nice and pretty, pretty, you know, you, you don't have to worry about it, uh, getting stepped on or, or, you know, creased poorly or something. Um, so yeah, I mean, just, this is a piece, you know, you could have for the rest of your life, I think. Um, and it really is art. I, 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 I have to say that I am far more impressed, um, with it, um, than I expected, um, so I, I like, I don't allow commenting on my videos because I just feel like commenting is just a waste of life, um, uh, on both ends. And, um, so if you guys want to contact me, you can contact me on Instagram, uh, and we can talk about anything. I don't care. Um, 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 just DM me or whatever, you know, and we can actually have a human conversation or something. Uh, rather than just some random ass weird back and forth with a bunch of people saying stupid shit. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is the unboxing, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to, like, let it soak. Because I know, like, when I'm sitting here, like, thinking, like, do I want to buy something? Uh, just watch this again. This is, this is badass. Oh, I think, is that arrow supposed to be telling me? Yes. You see? Look at that. Whoop. Um... I know like when I want to buy something, like I just want to see it and just like keep seeing it and just like really understand every angle and every ounce um, and, until like I can completely make that decision. Um, so, I mean, hopefully this has helped in that way. Um, you know, hopefully this has helped. You know, hearing the sounds, kind of seeing it all, it just kind of in, in its natural state um, as much as possible. I think it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I can't explain to you like the, the feel. It's it's pretty light. I, I love people saying it's like really light. I don't feel like it's really light. I feel like I think this thing has stuff in. No, this has almost nothing in it, and this feels lighter. So I mean, don't you know. <laughs> I hear people say so many fucking, so much fucking shit, um, that I don't know. This thing's pretty heavy. Let's, let's not, you know, let's not cut corners on that shit. This shit is actually pretty fucking heavy. That's heavier than that thing. Uh, but you're gonna look better in it. <laughs> and, uh, no pain, no gain, right? Um, I, I think it's, it's, it, it feels, it feels better. I enjoy the, the heft and, you know, you can re wheel it around if you want. And if you like the four wheel, uh, configuration, you could get the four wheel, uh, configuration. So I, I don't really think the, the heft, um, is that much of a concern to be honest. Um, I think, I think it's fine. Um, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I just, I hope like seeing it all, uh, you know, and it's in its like sort of natural habitat it helps you uh, figure out whether or not you'd want uh, to potentially get the piece. Uh, and maybe I'll prop it here and uh, you know put it next to a nice duffel. You know, kind of try and get a you know feel for that's gonna be badass. You know, uh, you know, I could picture walking up in a, in a nice uh, tailored outfit or something, or even just some casual, uh, clothes and, and feeling pretty good, um, checking into the lobby, <laughs> feeling like James Bond, like a motherfucker, uh, checking into this, checking in with this stuff, uh, you know, the, it just, it puts you in the right place, um, I, I don't get, like, many compliments, uh, on my watch, like, I feel like, I think, like, one person ever 
has said something. So I feel like I'm going to get like tons of like, at least like looks and, and, and just like, you know, just that general um, interest and intrigue. I, I think, I think, I, th I really think this suitcase creates um, a sense of intrigue. The, you know, the, there's just a, a sense of, it's like when you're wearing a suit or something. You, you just, you stand out. You look like you know what you're doing. You look like someone who travels well, who travels a lot. And um, if you're in that position uh, to be able to do something like that and to have something like this, to have uh, the champagne problems, you know, uh, you should be pretty fucking grateful um, and thankful and just, uh, you know, live it, man, fucking live it. Because, you know, if you're sitting here contemplating getting one of these fuckers, man, I say totally get one. I, I, you know, I haven't used it, you know, so uh, maybe that tune will change. Um, but fuck, man. I mean, if it's, if it's between this and that, uh, I mean, and, and you're a sartorial, you know, guy, you, you like to dress well and, or just, you know, you just, it matters to you. Like, you know, your, your appearance in that way matters to you. It doesn't have to, it doesn't matter if it matters to you, but if it does, then fuck, man you're not going to get anything better than this. I don't know if you've seen like the Louis Vuitton things. They look like that, but like they're $2,000, $3,000. This actually looks like something that costs money. This actually looks like something. This looks vintage, but you can also tell it's not vintage. You can tell it's not 60, 70 years old or 100 years old or something. You can tell it's new. Uh, you know, the materials are new. You can tell it's sturdy. Um, and it just, but it still just has that, 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 like a, like a, a beautiful suit. It, it's just, it, it has, you know, it has everything that, that you might want. Uh, it, it just, it has its own character. Um, I, 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 seeing the back is pretty interesting, uh, to me because I, I was always kind of uncertain about how the back worked out. And it's cool to see that the, the straps actually kind of just dangle through this piece. And I love that. That's. That's very uh, utilitarian. I mean, you know, it just looks uh, utilitarian. Man, oh, here's the bottom hinges. Um, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, any of this, this stuff really helps you say, okay, yeah, I definitely want one of these, or fuck no, I don't like this look. This is, this is not for me. Um, but if you're a Bond fan, I think, I, I mean, first off, them choosing to go with gloat, look at this fucking thing, like, this is James Bond. I don't know if you've, you know, taken a look at all the different luggage uh, that Bond has worn or used throughout the, the, the franchise. Mostly he, he carries um, black, like kind of crappy luggage, but um, I think it was an inspiration to really, you know, go with this, this sort of luggage for Spectre um, and, and carry that on um, into um, No Time to Die and kind of cementing this, in my opinion, as now what I would consider the quintessential uh, James Bond luggage, because it's just, it, it, this has James Bond written all over it, dude. Like, if they don't keep putting Bond using Globetrotter, I have no fucking idea what they're doing. Like, that would suck. Like, I could see this brand being a part of the franchise forever after this. Uh, I hope it is. Uh, it, this is beyond anything I've ever seen or experienced. I'm just, I'm still blown away. So, all right. I guess that's about all that can be said. So, um, yeah. Hopefully this helped. <laughs> uh, hopefully, maybe talk to you guys later.